Hey, what's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Starfield video. In this one, I'm going to be getting into some huge news Bethesda just quietly released in the game. I'm also going to be giving my thoughts about this news as well. And I'm also going to be covering something that a lot of you may be curious about, and that is whether or not the best money glitch was patched within this update. I'm going to be checking if it's still possible. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of this. Hope you all find this enjoyable. First things first, let's go ahead and get into this news. So, as you can see here, it states on Bethesda's website, Starfield updates and mod support, September 13th, 2023. Going down, it says here, First, an enormous thank you to all of you playing Starfield and your support. We are absolutely blown away by the response and all you love about the game. We are also reading all your great feedback on what you'd like to see improved or added to the game. This is a game we'll be supporting for years and years to come, so please keep all the feedback coming. Even if we don't get to your request immediately, we love to do it in the future, like city maps. Our priority initially is making sure any top blocker bugs or stability issues are addressed and adding quality of life features that many are asking for. City maps? That sounds awesome. That sounds like a whole little DLC added in the future. That's freaking amazing. Anyways, and also them just saying they're going to be working on this game for years and years to come, that's just great news right there they have definitely uh big plans for this game if they plan on you know investing into it for years and years to come so anyways getting more into this it says here this first update is a small hot fix targeted at the few top issues we are seeing after that expect a regular interval of updates that have top community requests as features including brightness and contrast controls hdr calibration menu fov slider nvidia dlss support Ooh. 32.9 ultra wide monitor support. Ooh. Eat button for food. <laughs> All right. We're also working closely with NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel on driver support, and each update will include new stability and performance improvements. Additionally, we are working on our built-in mod support creations that will work across all platforms similar to what we've done with Skyrim and Fallout 4. Yo! That is amazing! This full support is planned to launch early next year. Until then, we know our PC community is already very active in the modding space, and if you have any feedback on how we can make this better, please let us know. Modding and creating in our games will always be a vital and important part of who we are, and we love seeing the community get off to such a strong start. Keep the feedback coming. We really do read it all. And thank you all again for taking this journey with us. But that's the Game Studios. Dude, that is just... That's great that we're already getting news about mods coming to the console. I can already see it now. Dude, PC is going to be already loaded with mods. So when mods do officially come to the console, we're going to have plenty to choose from on the console. So, yeah, that's just amazing. Great news right there. I don't know about y'all, but I am super excited about that. That's going to keep the game alive for years and years to come. Like, you know, how long they plan on, you know, investing their time into this game. Anyways, scrolling more down, it states here, update version 1.7.29 fixes and improvements. So this is what they did for this update that we just got. And it was like a 2.6 gigabyte uh, download for this update on Xbox. So yeah, keep that in mind. I don't know if you've downloaded this update quite yet, but it isn't super big. Anyways, it's still great to hear feedback from them already and get this amazing news about what's to come in the future and already getting a nice little quality of life update right here. As you can see here, for Xbox Series X and S, they improve stability related to installations and various stability and performance improvements to reduce crashes and improve frame rate. I know that's been a pretty big problem for a lot of players, so it's good that they're already trying to reduce that from happening. Also, they've updated Quest. All that money can buy, fix an issue where player activity could result in a Quest blocker and to the unknown fix an issue that could prevent the quest from appearing after the game is completed, and Shadows in Neon, fix an issue where player activity could result in a quest blocker. So yeah, they're already, you know, fixing some things that they've been getting feedback on, so that's just great news in general. Can't wait to see what's in store for this game. Now, I'm going to be getting into whether or not the best money glitch that's in the game was patched yet. I have a feeling this may be patched sometime in the future just because of how broken it really is. It doesn't take that long at all either to do this. So yeah, let's see if it was patched or not real quick here. All right, so for those of you that don't know about this glitch, it's located on Jemison at New Atlantis. You're gonna to want to teleport to the commercial district 
in order to do this glitch. I mean, there's multiple ways to do this glitch, but this is one fast way to do it. So once you're at the commercial district, all you gotta do is just run this way. But over this way, we can find a tree here. Let's go ahead and climb up on this tree and then just find a way up to the top of this wall. You can jump on this branch if you want. That is one way. Oh, son of a biscuit. All right, so I'm on the branch. Now we just want to make it to the top of the wall here. Okay, now we're at the top of the wall. You can use a power boost pack if you want. Which, by the way, in order to even use your boost pack, you got to have at least a point into boost pack training. And yeah, if you have a power boost pack, that will make you jump higher. I'm currently using a basic boost pack just to show you it is possible with, you know, a basic jetpack. So anyways, when you're up here, you just want to go this way and then jump through this. So it looks like this is still working here. The question is, are the credits still in the chest underneath the ship services technician? after this update. So once you glitch through the wall at the top of that building, you just keep running this way. Some random rooms you'll go past underneath the map. Right there. Pretty sure that's like part of an elevator or something. But yeah, just keep heading this way. And over here you'll be able to drop down. Yeah, over here, just drop right down. And voila! We're now underneath the map. There's quite a few chests that you can loot under here, but I'm just going straight to where the money's at. Like, right there. That's a chest you can loot. But where the most money is located at is this way. Alright, so there's the chest. The chest is still under here. Are the credits still in it? Yes, sir! 72,000 credits. So go ahead and loot that. Now, what you do, once you do loot it, which, by the way, you can, like, buy ships from him, and the money that you use to buy the ships will be in that chest, so it's basically like you get you could get free ships too. Just do the glitch after you buy a ship and go get your money that you just uh, spent. Anyways, what you want to do to reset the uh, 72,000 credit is just simply fast travel to Venus, which that's located at Seoul, and then head to Venus here. We just want to wait at Venus just because time is different over in Venus. So when we wait, we wait a little longer than usual so we're able to reset the chest so yeah when you're over here you just wait six hours at least and as you can see the time moves differently over here one hour is worth a hundred hours so yeah just wait six and then you head back over to the commercial district and do the glitch all over again and you will find the 72,000 credits in the chest again underneath the ship services technician so that's good that the glitch is still working feel free to use this to stock up on credits because you know this is a way where you can still keep your achievements and whatnot without using console commands if you're on PC or this is a way you could just easily stock up if you're on console so yeah hope you all found this video enjoyable I'm out of here though as always thanks for taking the time watching and listening until next time peace